Hi folks, here is the preliminary plan for Bengaluru Circular Railway Project. Railway road, which was initially planned for 287 kilometers, which costs around 23,000 crores, may vary with whatever the preliminary plan which we have got because there are a lot of road changes that has happened compared to proposed plan. Similar to Bengaluru suburban railway project, circular railway project is also a futuristic plan for our Bengaluru. Given the, given the pace at which our out of Bengaluru growing for the next 10 years. For this futuristic plan, both state government as well as the central government should work together and execute without any differences as state needs to bear the land acquisition cost and it lies completely in the state ambit and development can be taken over by railways. So coming to the circular railway project, it has seven interchange junction points proposed Total 7 interchange junctions proposed as part of circular railway plan, each one for outgoing lines from Bengaluru city. How is the circular railway project is futuristic? Let's start from Tumkuru road. Tumkuru interchange point comes next just next to the proposed Obalapuram multimodal logistics hub. This is the multimodal logistics hub which is proposed by I mean HIA and the work is already started which is on the Nalamangala route and it, it is connected to Tumkuru railway route. And coming to the interchange, this circular railway line can interchange with any possible direction, whether to go to the Tumkuru route, whether it is from this side or from this end, or going to the Bengaluru city from either from this end or from this end. So in all possible ways this interchange is planned and this is very much near to the Dabbaspete industrial area and also the industrial areas that are all planned over uh, ST, uh, ST Harar that is near to Ulikante as well it was proposed and even the futuristic city plan that is the Queen City is also proposed here only and the railway line passes through the Queen City. So they can, I mean with both railways and KDB working together probably land acquisition and as well as the plan can be changed based on this and it passes through the Queen City and next junction point is the double opera. Coming to the Dadabalapura interchange, which is an important Dhormavaram route. Here the interchange station planned with Vadarahalli railway station. So Vadarahalli will get more tracks and station length spans over 10 kilometers. Interchange junction station is attached to the existing Gatishakti multimodal cargo terminal. So similar to 
Oblapuram, even this junction will be a strategic point in terms of transportation and industrial activities. This will help the freight movements enormously. Circular line here as well, it passes through the KDB <coughs> areas surrounding this railway lines. Here as well, the terminal similar to whatever the reports which we are hearing regarding the Devanali route. Here as well, the terminal junction can be planned, which is spanned from the Vodarahalli almost till to the Dablapura station. Coming to the railway route between the Dablapura to Devanali, whatever the existing KDB areas in addition to that, whatever the Foxconn industrial area and even the proposed extension which comes almost near to this and even on Adinarayana, Adinarayana Vasahalli and few more industrial areas even Kundana and surrounding areas also already notified for industrial areas. And from here it merges to the existing Devanali road which will be going to Chikbalapura and then to Kolar. Here circular line merges or the junction point proposed for this is spans over from Devanali to Avati station and the Venkatagiri. Here, whatever the conventional junction points, whether it is clever leaf model or the rhombus model, it is not followed here probably because of the Ili area, the Havati hill and the lake on the other side and city high on the other side. So that's why it's pushed behind the Devanali town towards the Havati station and here, here as well the circular this is the circular path which it passes through and from circular path it diverges from here and joins towards city and this is towards Avati station or Venkatagiri Kote and from Maluru side it will come towards city like this and it will go towards Chikkhalapura like this. So the proposed terminal is in this path. So from here it is attached to the existing aerospace and hardware industrial area and it is very near to airport industrial areas, whatever the surrounding industrial areas which is already uh, up and running. And it and from here as well we know there are few industrial areas and township that is planned over here and it goes all the way to Malur. So from here to next From Malo to Nelamangla, we'll look in the next video. We'll go through the proposed truth in the next video.